Why hello again friends. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a project request in Team Dynamics. So let's jump right in shall we? The very first thing that you have to do is select the Applications menu which is up here on the top left hand side otherwise known as the Red Hamburger and you're going to want to find the Services button which is all the way over here and once you click on it it will pop open a new tab and in this new Service Catalog tab that opens within Categories, one of those categories, in fact the only category, is Projects and Project Services provide the conduit to request projects. Well, since we're creating a project request, this sounds like the right place to go, so let me click on that. This new page is going to open up, and within the projects page, you're going to have a whole bunch of different services, and you will need to choose the right service to inline your project request with who you're doing it for. And there is a great um, team in here, Project Management Projects, which is kind of what I'm doing, so I'm going to select this one. A new page will open up, and all the way over here on the right, you're going to have a big, giant request service button. This is the gateway to creating the project request. The very first page that it goes to is actually one of the five business cases that you will need to fill out, which is the general one. And we're just going to go through this one at a time, because many of these fields does have the red asterisk, which does mean that it is a required field. So we're just going to go through these one at a time. The very first one is we need a project name. So I'm going to call these Team Dynamics videos. Pretty self-explanatory, and I need a project description. Well, I've already got one written, which says Garrett is making some really awesome videos for Team Dynamics to help everyone learn how to use the project management software. Well, that sounds pretty great. The client name is next, and you'll need to enter the name of your client. I am doing this work for Peter M., so I'll just put his name there. And he is also my sponsor, who is owning the project for the organization. So I'm going to remove my name, and actually I'm going to use this search icon to find Peter. So this is going to pop open a new window, and in this search phrase at the top, I am just going to look. See if I can find Peter in here. Oh, and look at that. There he is right here. Once I click on his name, it will automatically put the sponsor's name directly in. For the accountant department, it is a required field, and you will have to specify which department you're doing it for and the project category. There are three categories, small, medium, and large, and additional information can be found about those projects um, on the help pages, which can be found on the link, which is now showing up on your page. The planned start date, when do I hope to start? Well, I don't know. When do I think I'm going to start? How about Canada Day, July 1st? And when is this project going to be done? How about... July 3rd. It's only going to take me a couple of days because I'm a pretty hardworking guy. There is a lot of additional tabs which are sections which you're going to find and some of them I am going to leave blank because uh, for the purposes of this video which includes services affected, project goals and objectives, it's got the red asterisk, it is important so I need to get it done. So my objective number one, do a good job. Objective number two, think would be another good objective. How about create all videos? And these are pretty self-explanatory self and you will want to use the smart method. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Do a good job is not very specific, nor is it measurable. Um, it is achievable and it is realistic and there is no time-bound, so that wouldn't be a great smart objective, but you get the idea. Project scope. What is the scope? So list items that are to be the scope of this project and be detailed. You're going to have to put in a lot of information about what this project is actually going to do. For the purposes of this, create videos. That is very scopeful. And what is out of scope, non-required fields, you can skip it if you need to. Project deliverables. You are going to have to fill those out. I will be delivering videos. The business benefits for those videos, better team dynamics use and constraints and risks. What if I do a bad job? Well, that is a constraint and is definitely not a risk because I'm a very hardworking man. Additionally, you will have a project team which you need to identify, cross-functional team requirements which you can identify, cross-functional team notifications. This is required and you can either select no, yes, or NA. I'm going to select no for this one. Key project milestones and dates. So dates and times of when this is going to be done. I did say July 3rd was when I was going to be finished, so I'll put that there because it is a required field. Communication strategy? Yes, I'm just going to leave that there because there is, you need to, I do need to identify who or where this project should be communicated, communicated to and the frequency. Project dependencies? Is it in budget? Is funding budgeted or not? There is no budget required for this one because I have all the tools and utilities already with me. Um, there's required documentation changes and finally general notes and comments. 
We made it all the way down to the bottom of the page. So once you have everything filled out, double check it and make sure everything's okay. But I'm pretty confident that I did a great job filling this out. And I am going to hit the save button first, just to save everything here. Now, you'll see over here on the left hand side, here are the five business cases that need to be filled out. And as you can see, the general one is the one I was just working on. I'm going to say that this one is complete. I have filled out all these things. I have double checked. I've done a really, really great job. So if you look over on the left hand side, General has a red circle. Once I mark it complete, it's going to update. And now it's got this green check mark, which is fantastic. We need to move on though. We have the first one done for the general one, but we do need to complete the strategic goals and alignment, files, expenses, and stakeholders before you finally review and submit. Additionally, you can fill out these business cases in any order you choose. Um, the general one is the first one, which is generally the best place to start, but the other four can be filled out at your own leisure, at your own time, and whichever order you see fit. Additionally, once you have marked a business case as complete and you wish to edit it afterwards, so like the general one, I don't like the project name here, but I just can't go in and just automatically modify this because it won't save any of the information. So what I need to do is actually, you'll see where it says mark incomplete to incomplete that project. And now you can change the name, uh, name edit, and then save it and mark it as complete again. And once it's marked complete, there you go. Those new name changes have been done. Next is the Strategic Goals Alignment tab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see this red Add button up here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a goal. And there's a whole bunch of goals which are already here. We'll say a CCF other goal. And my goal is to do a good job. And then once you fill it out, you hit that Save button. And then what you can do is you can add as many as you like, and then once you are done, once you are done adding all of them, you can select that mark complete button, and that will change that red circle to a check mark. Next one, files. If you have any files that you think would be useful in the evaluation of this project request, please just upload them and connect them here. Um, I do not have any files specifically, so I'm just going to pull a random one like the CCS logo one and upload it just to show what it, how it works. There's the logo which is up there, uploaded by me. And because I have nothing else to upload, I'm going to hit mark complete. Next is expenses. So. There is no expenses for this project, but if there is expenses for your project, please feel free to add them and add them however you wish. You can also add additional expenses which aren't already on the list by selecting the appropriate item, the year, the quantity, the amount, 100 bucks for some hardware, and the total is $100, and needed new recording software. And hit that big red save button at the top, and there you go. That new item, expense item is put in, and you can also delete the other ones if you do not need them as you wish. Once you are done, that big red mark complete button is staring at me and I need to click on it. And again, like any of the other, the other sections, if you do need to go back and, and modify anything, you de do need to mark it as incomplete, make your changes, and then mark it as complete again. Finally, the last one is the stakeholders, and I am going to need to add a stakeholder. And a stakeholder, uh, we'll say Peter is going to be one of my stakeholders. Let's see if it comes out here. Um, there he is right there. Responsibilities, concerns, what if Garrett does a bad job? I don't think I will. Would I be responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed? Well, I think so. Let's select all of those and hit save. Additionally, add as many people as you wish, and then when you are done, hit that Mark Complete button. So, I've gone through all five business cases now. So, I did General, Strategic Goals Alignment, Files, Expenses, and Stakeholders. And the last thing you need to do is review it and then submit the request. So, I'm going to go in here, and this is going to give me a full lead out of all the information that I put in to this project request. Double check, make sure you look, because once you submit, you have submitted. And right up here at the top, you'll see this print button if you'd like to print it out and have a copy of it, or submit. I am going to test the waters and submit. The page is going to say, are you really sure you want to submit? And I am positive. There we go. I have now submitted a request. 
what do I do from here? Well, from here, you're going to want to go and watch some additional videos on all the great things that you can do Team Dynamics once you have a project request approved. Additionally, you can go back and look at the request you just created, view the service catalog, or view other requests. Now that this request is done, there's one other thing I would like to show you. I'm just going to close this tab, and I've submitted a request, but I want to go back to it. Well, where do I find it? Well, let me tell you. You're going to want to go back to the Applications menu, which is the Red Hamburger, and go back into the Services, which is where we started originally. And you'll see on the right-hand side my recent request, the Team Dynamics videos with the name edit. I really don't like that name edit, but unfortunately, since I've already submitted, I cannot change it. Additionally, you will see that it is in the workflow, but it has not been reviewed at this point. Well, friends, this concludes my video on how to create a project request. I hope you really enjoyed watching it. Feel free to watch additional videos about all the wonderful things that Team Dynamics can do for you. Thank you.